Hey everyone, this is Eric, the man with the hat and the vest, talking about your personal financial condition, because it's your practice, it's your finances, it's your life, and we care about it, and we want to see you do well, and we want to see you be in a better financial condition than what you are right now. What we're going to talk about today is debt, and the do's and don'ts of debt. Oh my God. Now, it is very apparent to me that the majority of practice owners you guys have way too much debt, just way too much debt. It is overburdening. Uh, in some cases, it's um, too much for you to even discharge, quite frankly. And um, But there are ways to get out of debt, and uh, there is a method to do it. The first thing that you need to do is decide that you're going to be debt-free. That is the most important aspect of getting out of debt, is that you make a decision that it is unacceptable to be in debt to this degree. It is unacceptable to be paying seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars a month in servicing debt. It's unacceptable. That's the first thing. The next thing you need to do is determine the exact month and year in which you will be debt free. Now that may sound like completely off the wall. What do you mean the month and the year I'm gonna be debt free? How do I know that? Well, we figure it out, of course. And, um, but the reason why you need to name it is because if you do not, you will perpetually stay in debt. So if you don't want to perpetually stay in debt, I would suggest that you, uh, pick a month and year in which you would like to be debt free. That of course is, uh, within reason based upon the amount of debt that you have. If you have a million dollars of debt, don't say you're going to be debt free in like four years unless you're just a massive producer and you can do it. But you can say we're going to be debt free in seven, ten years. There's no reason any of you should not be debt free, completely debt free, business debt, mortgage debt, whatever debt in seven to ten years. No reason at all. Okay. Now, as far as do's and don'ts, what do we want you to get rid of first? Get rid of all personal unsecured debt. Get rid of all the credit cards. Get rid of all that junk. All high interest rate, get rid of all that junk. But make sure you pay it off by paying off the, the lowest balance first. Why? Because I want you to get some wins on it. I want you to get motivated to continue to pay off your debt. So get rid of your personal unsecured debt. Then I want you to go get rid of the business unsecured debt because we don't want that in there either. Get rid of that. Come back, pay off the personal secured debt, and then go back and pay off the personal the business secured debt. That's the order it should be in. But first and foremost, you got to name it. You got to want it. You got to want to get out of debt. I promise you I'll show you the way home. I'll show you the way home. I can tell you exactly how to get there, but you got to want to do it. And you got to say to yourself, you know what? I don't want to be in debt anymore. I don't want to be a slave to the friggin' banks. And then that magical day when all that debt is paid off, guess what? You just gave yourself a seven to $10,000 a month raise because of the cash flow that you're using to service that debt. Now it goes into your pocket, okay? And that's the power of doing that. Seven to 10 years.